During the late 19th century, Cleveland became an important industrial city. Located along numerous transportation routes as well as near large deposits of coal and iron ore, the city prospered. Cleveland emerged as an important industrial center, but its citizens sometimes suffered. During the Great Depression, both the steel and oil companies endured difficult financial times. To stay afloat, many businesses laid off workers. By 1933, Roughly one-third of Cleveland's workers were unemployed during the third full year of the Great Depression. And by this year onwards, the crime rate began to rise, it involves prostitution, gambling and mob violence. On September 23, 1935, a dead body was found on one of the street dead ends in Kingsbury Run. The body is dead in the mid-cervical region living only a torso and the head is buried beside the corpse, the victim is identified as Edward Andrassy and his death was ruled as homicide, and at the same day another body is also found at the same place, a male body but was never identified, and the skin was treated with chemical agent that caused it to become reddish and leathery. In 1936-1938, ten more victims were found most of them are not identified because their heads were never found. Jane Doe II was later identified as Rose Wallace, her body was found in June 6, 1937 beneath the Lorraine Carnegie Bridge. She's the only black victim. The body is dated and had a missing rib. During this year there were other possible victims from different parts and outside Cleveland, all victims suffered the same faith as other victims, decapitated and the head were never found. The famous one is, and nicknamed Lady of the Lake. Her body parts were found floating in the waters, and some fishermen believed to have seen a head. Her skin were treated with lime chloride chemicals to increase the decomposition process, but mistakenly used lime, preserving the body instead. The police interrogated around 9,100 people just to find the killer. This is the biggest investigation in Cleveland history. Because of this case 1,000 unrelated cases were solved. One of their main suspect was Frank D. Lozola, 53 years old and a Cleveland resident, he was arrested because he had a connections to Andrasi and Wallace. While in Cuyahoga County Jail custody Frank D. Lozal died in suspicious circumstances. D. Lozal was a high-priority suspect of the Torso murder case. There were other suspects but none of them were proved to be the Torso murderer. Some of them like Willie Johnson and African American was one of the suspects but not tried of the torso murders, but linked to other killings in the area, not related to the case, he was later sent to electric chair in March 1944. Dr. Francis E. Sweeney a white man, alcoholic and a World War I veteran, and one of the suspects, Sweeney, an intelligent, skilled and very troubled surgeon who lived near Kingsbury Run. He had the surgical know-how as well as access to facilities ideally suited for bodies. Despite a week-long interrogation by Elliot Ness and other high-level investigators, Sweeney never confessed. Sweeney was a viable suspect, but the evidence was circumstantial and would have no bearing. However, immediately after Sweeney committed himself to a sanatorium, the murders stopped. The killer was never found or identified unto this day, the suspects that are arrested was never really proven guilty and remains a suspect, and most of them died already. Who could have done such brutal and horrific crimes? In another theory the murders could have been committed by different people, could be a transient who was riding the rails because most of the murders occurred within the vicinity of railroad tracks. This was the reason why there were murders in other states that were similar to the torso murders in Cleveland, 